I am at Lake Jennings and Lakeside and you can hear it is very windy out here. Now the lake behind me, it actually holds millions of gallons of water and the water goes through the dam under this bridge and it goes to this water treatment facility. After the water is treated, it is stored in huge water tanks ready to go out to the neighborhood. The water eventually makes its way to hundreds of fire hydrants in the community. This one was installed right in front of this church behind me, and it could pump up to 3,000 gallons of water per minute. That's all potable water that goes down. It feeds your fire hydrant systems. It hooks to your water meter. You turn your faucet in your kitchen. It's the same water that's in the fire hydrants. Jeremy Davis is with the Lakeside Fire Protection District. He is keeping a close eye on the fires in LA. There have been reports that the hydrants went down and ran out of water. Officials say the water system had four times the normal demand. Just alone on the Eaton fire last night in about a 40 minute time period, they requested 40 strike teams of engines. What that equates to is about 200 fire engines. So just put that number alone with the local resources, say about 200 fire engines connected to a fire hydrant trying to get water out of the pipe at the same time. The pipes are only designed to flow so much water. Not only that, Davis says if the power goes out, that impacts the water pumps. You lose power to a pump station, that automatically right there could take away half of what's normally available. And then you add the fire engines, water tenders, even homeowners um, using their hoses, turning on landscaping lines. If you live in an area with high winds, Davis says keep a water supply or water tank on your property if you can. That could be a big help if the system goes down. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News.